this video, we are going to take an updated look at the live Boolean feature set in 3D Coats Sculpt Workspace. We released a video about this when the feature was first released last year, but it has since been refined and it includes the ability to work with very complex Boolean operations. So there are two major rules of thumb here. One is the object needs to be in voxel mode. The second rule of thumb is that any object that you want to be part of a Boolean operation, you want to place it within a parent-child relationship or a hierarchy tree, as you can see here. So I have this column and its child is this stone object. And then I have an additional Boolean operation with the text in a subtractive form. So I have an intersection going on here, and you'll see an indication of the operation with the icon to the left of the layer. Also, I just want to quickly mention the soft booleans that are introduced in 3D Code 2025 do not currently operate in conjunction with live booleans. However, as an alternative, you can use live booleans as an interactive preview, if you will. And when you want to apply soft booleans, then you can disable the live boolean operation. For example, for the stone, I can right click over that boolean icon and I can choose no live booleans. Then I can go ahead and perform a soft edge boolean operation. But of course, that would be a more permanent result. The reason why soft booleans are not part of the live boolean feature set is because it's a much more complex and intensive calculation. We will cover soft booleans in greater detail in a separate video, and I will touch on it toward the latter end of this video. But let's go ahead and dive right into live booleans first. I will unghost the parent object here, and I'm going to left mouse button click over the boolean icon or the stone. Now I can see this intersection. Next, for the text object, I'm going to click on the Boolean icon, and that's going to gray it out, indicating that it has temporarily suspended the Boolean operation. If I left mouse button click it once again, you'll see it highlighted once more. Being able to temporarily disable it will allow you to see the object in its fullest context so that you can make adjustments in this state when needed. Once more for the stone object, I will click on the live Boolean icon. Let me go to the transform tool. Now I'll click on the stone. I'll make sure it's center mass on the object. I will also click on reset axis. As I transform this object, you can see in the lower left hand corner with the frames per second that the performance is actually quite robust. So as I mentioned, in this hierarchy, I have the text being subtracted from the stone, and then I can perform an intersection between the column and the stone. That's what I have here. I can change that operation by right mouse button clicking on the Boolean icon, and then choosing a different operation here if I want. I'll change that back. I'll right mouse button click and then choose Live Intersection. All right, so let's try and rotate that. Let's switch to another example and discuss how we would go about setting up our parent-child hierarchy. Let's say I want the sphere to be the parent and the child to be the column. There are a few different ways that I can approach this task. I can move my cursor to the right-hand side over these dots that I see. And when I see the move icon, I can click and drag that directly over the layer that I want to be the parent. 
and it will then make this a child of that parent. If you see a line below or a line above, it's simply going to place that layer above it or below it. Then release the left mouse button, and now we can see that it's a child. We could also right click on the layer and choose change parent. You can also click this icon to pick it in the viewport if you so choose. To create a live Boolean operation, we want to right click on the object and then at the top of the list menu, we can choose Live Booleans. If you want to refresh your memory about the way Live Booleans work in 3D Coat, you can read these instructions. Let me go back to the right click menu, and then we can choose the operation that we want to utilize. When we do, we'll get an icon reflecting that operation. As you can see, subtraction, an intersection, and a union. Let's choose subtraction. And I can now see how that's going to look. I can even move it to where it goes all the way through the object. I can even scale it. I can also ghost the subtracted object I'm also going to turn symmetry off for now. I don't really need that to be in operation. And I can click on the ghosting icon of that cutting object in order to make it semi-transparent. And then I can unghost it by clicking again this ghost icon. At this stage, if I am relatively happy with the Boolean, I can leave it as is or I can opt to bake everything down by collapsing the hierarchy into one object, or I could apply a soft Boolean, either baking it down, as I mentioned, or we could do it to a duplicated hierarchy so that we can always get back to the original if we need. I don't want to go too far into soft Booleans. We'll have a video about that separately, but let's see how that might work if we were to apply it. So again, if we're happy with it, we can go ahead and bake the result down by coming to the parent and I can right mouse button click and then choose to merge visible or merge subtree. In this case, I might choose merge subtree. However, if we want a soft Boolean, we need to enable that first. To do that, I simply right mouse button click on the live Boolean icon and then click no live Booleans. Now I can utilize soft Booleans here. I will right click and choose Soft Booleans Settings. I'm going to click Use Soft Booleans for Voxels. There is an application also for Soft Booleans in Surface Mode, but again, that's for a different video. And also, there is an option to use our brush radius as the bevel radius, or you could enter a numeric value here. Let's go ahead and click OK. I have already set my brush radius to the desired scale. And then, much the same as we did with the parenting, we can also do the same with Boolean operations. We can come to the right side, hold down the control key if we want to subtract while we drag it onto the parent layer. That's one way. If we wanted to create a union, we would hold the shift key while dragging it onto the parent layer. Or we could repeat the process that we did just a few moments ago by right mouse button clicking and just choose subtract from. We can pick it in the viewport if we want. But in this case, I think the quickest way is to, again, just hold down the control key. And when I move my cursor to the right hand side and I see the move icon and drag it right on top of the parent. Now we've been able to use live Booleans for preview purposes, but we can also use soft Booleans when we are ready to commit to baking everything down to one object. And with that, we will conclude this updated overview of live Booleans in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.